Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to eGarc. And yes, we have two Optima Pros here. One Kyosho Optima Pro from 1987 and one from 2024 that just released. All right, so we're gonna unbox, take a look at the parts, see what improvements they made, and let's just have some fun with some parts here. So I can't fit everything in the view, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but um, I'm gonna start by cracking this one open and we'll start taking a look at the parts and then maybe compare them with the old one. I do love how Kyosho packages these. Now you will see that the colors are the same, the size of the box is the same. Actually, the box is almost identical. So there are a lot of similarities. Now I already took this out. Well, I didn't take it out completely, but I just took it out. I was looking at the decals because that is one of the major changes that uh, you know, you're not gonna see with the old one. Look at these beautiful decals. Now these don't look easy to apply. Look at that, I love how they make like a cartoon version of all of their legendary series cars. I love that. You can see the decals are really nice and they are pre-cut in case you're wondering. They do give you window masks. You know what, let me, I'm gonna crack the other one open too. Give me a second. Okay, so here's both. Let's see, you get both in view, here we go. Okay, so here is your first display here. This is the first thing you see when you crack it open. Now we'll take a look at the obvious things, right? Like this body has these like louvers or fake louvers here on the side that the original one does not. Oh, no it does. Wait a minute, it does have them here. It does not have it. Maybe this was an original like prototype or something. I don't see those louvers here. Unless I'm missing something. I never noticed that. I wonder if that was an error by Kyosho or this was like a early version of the body. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know, let me know. So let me take the under tray out. You know what, this, this definitely feels thinner. So this is how they came back in the day in the 80s. So that's definitely different. This definitely feels like a thicker polycarbonate. Not that much thicker, but it does feel thicker and it's got the uh, protective coating on it. The lines just seem like a little bit sharper. I think the technology just improved over the years. So let's take a look now at this. So this is different also. This is more of a, like engineer's like drawing of the car. Where this one is more like a picture. As you can see, let me bring it a little closer. This one is more like a picture. It is a picture. So that's another difference. They both say off-road racer, Optima Pro, four-wheel drive, just a little bit different. These tires are definitely like the more modern, softer race tires. Whereas the original tires are not as soft. I mean, these are soft for, you know, vintage tires, but these are the ones that say Bridgestone on them. And you know, modern times too, right? I mean, the tracks are different if you're gonna go on a track. So there's another difference. So the display here is very different too. You, you know, I, I thought maybe they would have matched it, but they didn't, but they do have the chassis rails here. So this is the newer kit. They do have the chassis rails and this is, uh, all the metal is uh, plated in like a gun metal. Let's take a look at this. You can see that's just bare metal and this is like a gun metal. You can see it's exactly the same part but just anodized differently. The shocks, obviously these shocks are like the gun metal or platinum, whatever you want to call them. And where these are the typical old fashioned like red Kyosho, you know, shocks that you'd see in the Optima and you know, all the other buggies from back then. Really nice, nice shocks, but um, yeah, the new ones are nice. Okay, wheels. We're gonna have to find the wheels in here. These wheels, we all know about these wheels. These are three piece wheels. It has the center insert part here. And we all know about these. Modern one piece wheels, very nice. You know, do have a different look. These are more bright white, where these are brand new in the package, have not been out, and they are a little more yellow. Okay, I do see foams in here, that's good. You can see the springs are still black, but they're a different size, they're a larger diameter than the original ones. Like I said, all of the parts are anodized in that gunmetal color. Here's the uh, rear motor guard. This one does come with full bearings. I believe that the original also came with full bearings. They give you spare parts, which I don't think they do in the original. Got some aluminum hexes, which we do also get in the original. So obviously the gearing is gonna be different. So let's just take a look at the beautiful 
anodizing on. This is a rear plate, the right side. And you can see the, the gears are all metal. Well, not all the gears, but some of the gears are metal. And this one comes with a belt where the original one came with uh, only a chain, but you can get a optional belt drive kit, which I do have. Here's the option part for the chain itself. So if you want to go with the chain, they do give you the chain sprockets, which is good instead of the uh, belt drive. This is mostly hardware. Uh, stuff for the shocks, the battery straps, the dog bones, there are your diff gears, all metal, very nice. And there's the seal for the diffs, there's your grease. I actually do like that Kyosho grease, the green grease that comes in the Legendary Series cars. To me, it's, it's a little more, like it's a little thicker and stickier, more like the Tamiya anti-wear grease. So I really like that. So I do use this grease in the kit. I think this is the perfect grease for almost all applications. I wish I could buy it in a bigger tube. I, I did buy some spare on eBay, you know, somebody was selling their old spare tubes. I, they were brand new. But yeah, I do like using this grease. It, it does work well. So I'm just gonna put all this hardware back in this box just to keep everything nice and neat. Okay, so we're gonna see what is in this box here. There's gonna be a lot of the plastic parts. All of these plastic pieces should be the same. Gearbox cover, the top plate, the arms. Let's see. Ah, oh, the arms are actually different. Okay, let's compare the bumper. Let's grab the bumper's slightly different. So something is different in the front. Two screws here and one in the front. So there's a difference there. And then let's take a look at the arms because I think the arms are different. Oh yeah, these arms are definitely different. Look at these arms, they're completely different. Well, first of all, there's looks like there's more positions to mount the shocks where this has three holes here, and this one only has two. And these do seem like they're maybe a little bit stronger plastic. I know that these are good, but they're they're very stiff. These might have a little more flex to them. So this would be like the equivalent of getting like an RPM arm, let's say for a vintage one. Let's put this back in here. Here are the gearbox halves, front and rear. And I think these are gonna be exactly the same. And then all your shock parts which obviously that's gonna be different. Rear hubs, I think those are gonna be the same. Now let's crack it open and uh, let's see what the vintage one has compared to that. Okay, so I just packed it up because we pretty much went through all the parts there. So we're gonna put this one to the side and take out um, a little more of the parts from the vintage one. And in case you're wondering, these were the stickers that came with the original um, vintage Optima Pro. They did not come with the decals for all the you know, striping and the, um, like the patterns on the body, that was all paint. So it's only these decals and that's it. Whereas the new one comes with all decals instead of having to paint it. So let's crack this open, take a look at the vintage parts. They're all the same parts, they look the same, but you can tell they're very light and a little cheaper as far as how they're produced. And you know, still better quality than let's say, you know, if you bought an old Tamiya kit from back then, but it's still, like, these are not strong. These will bend. So that's definitely an upgrade for the new one. And here's the top plate and all these other little pieces here. This does kind of feel exactly the same. Chain guard and the gear cover, the gearbox halves, and the chain, obviously, the chain's gonna be different. And then just all the hardware and the gears. And the gears are all plastic, as opposed to the new gears that are all metal. Yeah, so, I mean, there are a lot of little subtle differences that definitely make the new one just much better. So there you have it. I've always wanted to do this with a vintage kit. Tamiya pretty much has everything the same. So it's kind of, you know, a little bit different with Tamiya. So let's, let's recap. Different shocks, improvement on the new one. Tires, improvement on the new one. Well, that's my own opinion. If you're running out on like a vintage style track, you probably want to get different tires than this. But this is, these are just really good all around grippy tires. It does come in foams, these no foams. These are three piece wheels. Uh, like I said, the shocks, uh, the body looks identical. The decals are different, obviously. Uh, the This one has um, the metal shock mounts front and back, where this one has the plastic ones here in the front and the 7075 aluminum in the rear. I think that's definitely an improvement. I'm not sure about the fronts. Uh, you know, once I mount them and, and build this, I'll see the quality of it, but uh, they're probably right. It's probably better uh, for this to have the, the thicker plastic ones, maybe a little more flex to it. This one, it's kind of sticking up. And again, if something happens, it just bends and then throws off your geometry and your, 
you know, uh, maybe your steering and everything else. So that's definitely an improvement. Arms. Now it's hard to say if that's an improvement. I would say yes, because they have flex to them. They do feel like more like, if you guys have ever had RPM arms, they do feel more like RPM plastics. Then these are a little more solid. And they're, you know, if, if you've had like old Ultimas or any of the other Optimas, uh, these feel a little more, I don't want to say brittle, but they're just not as flexible plastic as these. The modern plastic is just a little better. Uh, as far as the rails go and the top mounting plate, it has some subtle differences, but not too much different. And then of course, all the beautiful like gunmetal or platinum, whatever you want to call it, anodized parts. I know it's just physical appearance, but they do look really good to me on here. And these are just bare metal. So overall, this is definitely an upgrade. We didn't talk about the gearbox either. So this is all plastic gears. This is a mix of plastic and metal, but the plastics are better and the metal is really solid, really well made. And that's pretty much it, everyone. I don't think there are other differences. I think we went over all of them. And like I said, look what they did with the boxes. The box is very similar. I love what they do to make it look like the vintage one. The decals are definitely gonna be a challenge on this. I might have to use the uh, soapy water method to get them in place. I do like the original color, I really do. So that'll have to be decided once I build this. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it, I appreciate the support. Give me a thumbs up if you can, if you like the video. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. You don't wanna miss my build video on this. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you all in the next video.